A young prince named Ashoka lived in a grand palace in ancient India. Historical evidence suggests he was born in the city of Patliputra, the capital of the Mauryan Empire during his time. Today, Patliputra lies within the boundaries of the modern Indian city of Patna, the capital of Bihar state. So, while the grand palaces of Ashoka's era are no more, the city of Patna still has the ruins of his palace and carries the legacy of this great emperor who embraced peace. As a young prince, Ashoka was known for his competitive spirit. One day, the palace chefs held a competition to create the most delicious dish for the king. Ashoka, determined to win, bribed the head chef with a valuable pearl. However, another prince, seeing this, prepared a simple but delicious dish honestly. The king, impressed by both the taste and the honesty, declared the second prince the winner. Ashoka learned a valuable lesson about the importance of fairness and integrity. Ashoka, as an emperor, believed in justice for all. One day, there was a dispute between two families over a mango tree that grew on the border of their properties. Ashoka, instead of simply assigning ownership, suggested a unique solution. He ordered the harvest to be divided based on the effort each family put into caring for the tree. The family that watered and nurtured the tree received a larger share, teaching a valuable lesson about responsibility and effort. Ashoka, despite promoting peace, faced challenges from those who disagreed with his methods. One such instance involved a stubborn and arrogant king who constantly threatened war. Ashoka, instead of retaliating, sent a gift of delicious mangoes every day. The other king, surprised by this gesture of kindness, eventually softened his stance and became a friend. Ashoka's patience and goodwill triumphed over aggression. Ashoka grew up and became a fierce warrior king. He conquered many lands expanding his empire. He was known as Ashoka the Ferocious. The Kalinga War, estimated to have taken place around 261 BCE, was fought between the Mauryan Empire led by Ashoka and the independent state of Kalinga. Located on the eastern coast of ancient India, present-day Odisha and Andhra Pradesh, there were multiple reasons for the war. Expansion The Mauryan Empire under Ashoka's grandfather Chandragupta Maurya, had previously attempted to conquer Kalinga but failed. Ashoka, aiming to expand his empire, might have renewed the attempt. Strategic importance. Kalinga controlled trade routes and had a strong military, potentially posing a threat to the Mauryan Empire. The exact size of the armies involved is unknown, but historical estimates suggest both sides fielded massive forces. It was fought between the Mauryan Empire led by Ashoka the Great. The Mauryan army was renowned for its advanced weaponry, including chariots, elephants, and skilled archers, and the Kalinga Kingdom. While details are scarce, the Kalinga forces are believed to have been well-trained and fiercely defended their territory. The Kalinga War is considered one of the bloodiest battles in Indian history. The victory came at a great cost for Ashoka, who witnessed the immense suffering and devastation of people's lives. The land was filled with bodies, and the cries of the wounded echoed in the air. He saw the devastation he had caused. This sight filled him with deep remorse and sadness. This experience is believed to have been a major turning point in his life, leading him to embrace Buddhism and renounce violence. Ashoka couldn't bear the thought of more bloodshed. He spent days under a Bodhi tree, searching for answers. He finally understood that war caused only suffering. He decided to change his path. Ashoka embraced the teachings of Buddhism, a religion that emphasized peace and nonviolence. He vowed to never wage war again. Ashoka, now known as Ashoka the Great, dedicated his life to spreading peace. He built stupas and monuments to peace throughout his empire. He sent out edicts and messages carved on stone pillars, 
promoting nonviolence and good conduct. He encouraged trade and good relations with other countries. Ashoka's commitment to nonviolence was not always easy. One day, while traveling, his royal caravan was attacked by robbers. His guards were ready to fight back, but Ashoka stopped them. He believed in the power of peace and forgiveness. He instructed his men to offer food and water to the robbers. The robbers, surprised by the king's kindness, realized the error of their ways. They apologized and even offered to become his protectors. Ashoka's reign marked a golden age in Indian history. His empire flourished under peace. He became a symbol of compassion and nonviolence. Ashoka's story inspires us to choose peace over violence and kindness over anger. We too can be messengers of peace in our own lives. How can you choose peace today? Let us know some interesting historical facts related to Ashoka. Ashoka is said to have possessed incredible physical strength. Legends claim he could bend iron bars with his bare hands. Ashoka's famous edicts weren't written on paper but carved onto giant stone pillars scattered throughout his empire. These pillars still stand today, reminding us of his message of peace. Dharma is a Buddhist concept meaning righteous path or duty. Ashoka used his edicts to promote good morals and right conduct, not just religious beliefs. Ashoka regretted the suffering caused by the Kalinga War. He established hospitals for both humans and animals, reflecting his newfound focus on compassion for all living beings. Ashoka wasn't just a peacemaker at home. He sent Buddhist missionaries to neighboring countries, spreading the message of nonviolence across Asia. The famous Ashoka Chakra, which is the wheel symbol, seen on the Indian flag, has Buddhist origins. It symbolizes the cycle of life, death, and rebirth. But for Ashoka, it also represents the spread of Dharma. The Ashoka Chakra, prominently displayed at the center of India's national flag, is much more than just a decorative emblem. It's a powerful symbol steeped in history and rich with meaning. The Ashoka Chakra finds its roots in the Mauryan Empire, 322 to 185 BC, ruled by Emperor Ashoka the Great. It appears on several of Ashoka's famous edicts, giant stone pillars inscribed with his messages of peace and dharma, righteousness. However, the origin of the symbol itself predates Ashoka. It's derived from the Buddhist Dharma Chakra, a wheel representing the cycle of life, death, and rebirth. The Ashoka Chakra depicts a 24-spoked wheel. The number 24 holds various interpretations. The 12 spokes on each side could represent the 12 hours of the day and night, symbolizing constant motion and progress. In Buddhism, the 24 spokes could signify the 12 causes of suffering and their corresponding 12 paths to liberation. The wheel itself represents the concept of Dharma, the righteous path, and moral law. It signifies the continuous pursuit of knowledge, progress, and ethical living. The Ashoka Chakra's journey from ancient symbol to national emblem is fascinating. It's not just on the flag. The Ashoka Chakra is also prominently featured on Indian passports, government buildings, and official documents. India's third highest civilian award, the Ashoka Chakra, recognizes exceptional service. During peacetime, the emblem of India, the national symbol is also taken from Ashoka's creative design. It's based on a much older sculpture, the lion capital of Ashoka. This impressive carving of four lions standing together was created by Emperor Ashoka himself and placed in Sarnath, the very spot where Buddha gave his first teachings. The lions represent strength and bravery, of course but they also hint at the importance of fairness and being a good leader, just like Ashoka during his time. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Ashoka's life.